Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're here today with another challenge video. Um, so I'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. So let's get to the craft desk and get started. Now here we go with DIY number one. Now for this first DIY, I took this wooden bowl that I got from the thrift store and I'm going to take the price off of it. It was 99 cents and I probably got that half off because most things I bought are half off. So I'm going to paint the bottom of this black with uh, that black chalk paint from the thrift store and then I'm going to take and turn it over after that is dried and I'm going to paint the inside of this bowl white and that is where I had a problem. All right and then the next thing I did is I painted the inside of the bowl with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint put Mod Podge down and I'm going to take and put this little bee napkin on here because I thought it would be so beautiful and here I am bee bopping along just doing my thing minding my own business in my little craft room when I put this down and get all the edges down and after I get all those edges down like I want them and get all the wrinkles out I'm going to set this aside and let it dry and here I am thinking I'm doing such a great job. I'm so happy. This is going to be so pretty when this dries. And I'm just thinking about all of that. And then, and then, and then the next morning I get up and I look at my bowl and it has all of these bleed through marks on it. And so I went through my head and I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How am I going to fix this? Ah! <laughs> And so I took and uh, decided to paint it with that maize yellow paint, chalk paint from uh, Waverly. And I'm going to put a coat of that on it. And I'm also going to go back and lay uh, another bee napkin over the top of this to fix it. Now, I can't believe that I did that, but I'm very carefully laying. I put Mod Podge down again after my chalk paint had dried. And I very carefully lay in that napkin over the other napkin in the same place, you guys. If your eyes look a little fuzzy, they are. Not, not really. <laughs> My napkin is just off just a little bit and you can... You kind of see doubles, so if your vision looks a little fuzzy, that's because my, my, my little bee in the bottom of the bowl has got two bees there. <laughs> it is going to be what it is. To be oh well anyway let's get on with the next diy now today's video is the first friday open challenge and this month's uh challenge theme was wood now there is going to be a link to these ladies channels in the description box below also a link to the playlist go check out those ladies because you don't want to miss their crafts they're doing some awesome crafts out there today our host is lisa from our gray house our guest host is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations, and the other guest host is Mom Creative DIYs with Mama Deus. So go check out those ladies. Check out that playlist in the description box below because you don't want to miss these uh, ladies and the things they're doing. They're doing some awesome uh, crafts over there. So go check them out. And then, yeah, go check them out. Now here we go with DIY number two. Now for this DIY, DIY, it's not a DIY. <laughs> it's a DIY. Anyway, we man, I'm a mess today. So anyway, we're going to take a wood round that I got from Walmart. And we are going to take and do something with it. Yeah, hold on. This DIY is going to have a couple of different small projects in it. So it's like four or five little projects together. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little wood round and my little uh, brush and I'm going to put Mod Podge on it. Now I got too much on there so I'm trying to rake some of it off and save it so it don't waste, be wasteful. And once this is done we're going to let it dry. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little plastic uh, barrel or cauldron thing that I got at uh, Lucky Charm Day. What What's that day called? St. Patrick's Day. 
I'm going to take it and I'm going to take some of this gold glitter glue stick and I'm going to go all the way around this little top. And I know y'all are saying, Charlene, this is not wood. No, it's not wood. But the piece that I'm going to attach to it is wood. So hold on. We're getting there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these little wooden honey dippers. Here's my wood, people. And I'm going to cover it with some of this glitter uh, glue stick to make it look like honey. And then I'm going to stick a little bee on it and add a little bow on it. And then we're going to add it to our little honey pot. And isn't that adorable? So I'm going to get a bow on that one. And my other one, I put a little uh, gingham chuck bow on it. You'll see it at the final reveal. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these little chalkboard signs and I added a little, uh, kind of off camera there, but I put a little, uh, wood round on the bottom of it to make it stand up and then I put some of the glitter around it to make it look like honey and then I'm going to write be sweet on it and put a little bee on it and a little bow and we'll see the rest of that at the final reveal. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and put hot glue on three black beads and we're going to flip the wood round over to the other side that doesn't have the Mod Podge on it and we are going to put our three little beads on it. And then I'm going to flip it over to the side that has the Mod Podge and I'm going to take this pretty piece of tissue paper that I found and because my Mod Podge is now dry and we're going to take our little iron and we're going to iron this onto the wood round. This turns out so beautiful. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some black paint and I'm going to run it all the way around the edge of that wood round and then I'm going to take a baby wipe and kind of wipe it around the edges to kind of get it to smush up in there where it's supposed to be and then we'll see all of these little pieces put together at the final reveal. Now today's video is the first Friday open challenge and this month's uh, challenge theme was wood. Now there is going to be a link to these ladies channels in the description box below. Also a link to the playlist. Go check out those ladies because you don't want to miss their crafts. They're doing some awesome crafts out there. Today our host is Lisa from Our Gray House. Our guest host is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. And the other guest host is Mom creative DIYs with Mama Deus. So go check out those ladies. Check out that playlist in the description box below because you don't want to miss these uh, ladies and the things they're doing. They're doing some awesome uh, crafts over there. So go check them out. And then, yeah, go check them out. At this time, we'd like to thank our subscribers. We love you bunches and we really appreciate you. Here we go to DIY number three. Now for this DIY, I took one of these Lazy Susans. I painted it with Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. And no, I'm not going to get any bleed off of this. <laughs> um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I started to start painting it then. And then I decided, nope, I am going to put another piece of painter's tape down because I'm going to make two stripes. I'm going to make one out of this maize color that's by Waverly and I'm going to use the black for the other one. And then after I finish that I put Mod Podge below the black line. Um, you saw me doing part of it in that last clip. And then once it's dry I'm going to take that tissue paper and I'm going to iron that down reactivating that Mod Podge and we're going to put this down and put, yeah, we're going to put it down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to iron it down and then we'll move on to the next step. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge of it with a nail file that you use that you get from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go all the way around the edge of it, filing off the edges. I did this also to that little wood round we just did and then we'll move on to the next step. Now the next thing I did is I took me two stencils that I got from Amazon and this one says Queen Bee. I know you can't see what it says too good because of 
the lighting and because it's on the white. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm tracing out all the letters to Queen B. Instead of using my stencil and having bleed through and having to go through and fix that, what I'm doing is I'm going to go through, trace out all my letters and the shapes, and then I'm going to put Queen B and then put a little B on here, and then I'm going to come in with my black paint and fill it in. Now you can use a Sharpie marker for that. After I get Queen Bee on there like I want, then I take one of the bees and I go through here and I just trace him out as well onto my little line, or on my little line. I'm not, I'm tracing the lines is what I'm doing. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna fill it in. Now, like I said, you can use black paint or you can use a Sharpie marker or a posh marker or a paint marker of some sort if you're more comfortable with that. I tend to use a paintbrush Sometimes I'm lazy and use a marker. I, <laughs> I don't call it being lazy. I just it, it just depends on what I have out at the time because sometimes I just don't want to drag out everything, you know? Now, when you start painting this in, and if you're going to paint it in, or even if you're going to use a paint marker or paints or a Sharpie marker, you want to start with your innermost part first and work your way out. That way you don't accidentally get your hand into any of that paint. Now, when I paint with this particular brush that I'm using here, that long skinny brush bristles, what you want to do is put some black paint down on your little paint palette. Then you want to add just a touch of water so that it has a little bit of flow. That way you're not struggling trying to put your paint down. And here's what I'm showing you right here. You put a little bit of paint on it and then you uh, take some of it off because you don't want any chunks to get in your paint. You want your paint to be smooth. That's what helps you get your lettering really smooth. Now notice how my line gets wider and my line gets thinner. When I first start out, I start out with not pushing down. As I go into my letter, I press down, and then when I get to the end of the stroke, I lift it back up again. And you do this all the way through, and it will give you good, solid lines. Don't forget to use your pinky if you need your pinky to help give you that stability. And make sure you have plenty of paint on your brush, not gobs of paint, but plenty of paint. See how I got wide with that line? See, I pressed, here we go again, I pressed down, my line gets fat, and then it gets skinny. So when you're pulling through that line, press. Get to the end, lift. Don't press hard at first. If that makes sense, I'm, I hope that's helping y'all with some of your things. Anyway, let, you will see the rest of this at the final reveal. And here we go with the final reveal. y'all we're back from the craft desk and didn't this turn out gorgeous i absolutely love this you guys if you like our content give us that big thumbs up subscribe and share and hit that notification bell so you know when we're doing our next episode here at the crafty art shack and we'll see you later bye It's a, it's a mess, and I need to clean it, and I will. Oh, I forgot to turn the camera off. <laughs> and you guys, I hope you stay tuned for that. Yeah, I hope you do. Yeah, hope I'm not that boring. <laughs> and if you like this content, subscribe. Yeah, I said that already. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> I messed up. All right, y'all, we're back from the craft desk. And didn't these turn out absolutely gorgeous? I love this one. I love the rooster and I love the little chicken and I'm <laughs> and I'm <laughs> Why did I do that? Alright y'all give us that big thumbs up and
and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Bye.